Nick Hujazi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel. Today is a rest and recovery day. As always, I do some kind of abs and cardio. I did some incline walking, some kettlebell sit-ups, and some Superman crunches, supersetted. What I love to do on my rest and recovery days is answer comments from my YouTube videos to, pro to provide value. So leave some comments in, in my YouTube comment section. I'll answer the comments on my rest days. I think that's the best way to go about my rest days because I get a lot of comments and I want to answer them and uh, answer some of the questions you guys uh, want to know. So let's get into it. Guys, before I start answering the comments, if you want to get in great shape naturally, join my community. You'll have full access to all my training programs and splits. Link in the description. You have 24-7 support from me and even be able to have Zoom calls with me and I can really help you get in great shape naturally inside the community. Click the link and join now. All right, people, first comment from um, SMQRF71. Love the comment answering. Do you watch any YouTube? And if so, what YouTubers do you enjoy watching? When are you going to do another full day of eating? When will we see the co-founder next? Great questions. Which YouTubers do I watch? I, the main YouTuber I watch is the greatest natural of all time, Michael Hearn. I love Michael Hearn. He's my hero. He's the guy that I look up to. He's the philosophy that I've kind of modeled my training off is Michael Hearn. So I watch Michael Hearn's YouTube channel a lot. Um, I watch Chris Bumstead. I think Chris Bumstead is the greatest bodybuilder in the world. I watch Chris Bumstead. Who else do I watch? I don't watch a tremendous amount of YouTubers, to be honest, but mainly Chris Bumstead, Michael Hearn. I watch a lot of Machiavelli Motivation in the gym. I love listening to Machiavelli Motivation. I think it's the best kind of lifting motivation. I love listening to that. So yeah, those are the three main ones I really watch, to be quite honest. When are you going to do another full day of eating? I'll definitely get one of those vid videos scheduled and put it in. Um, in one of my rest days, I'll film a full day of eating. I'll do that. And when will we see the co-founder next? Me and the co-founder, we're going to reunite soon. I'm going to see him soon. And he'll be in my training video. So we're going to see him soon. Don't you guys worry. We'll be back together soon. Hopefully in October sometime. All right, next comment. From Jose Garza 7428. Love the content, brother. Just wanted to ask, are you going to get on gear or do you not support gear usage? Hope you, hope you have a good day, bro. I'm the natty king, bro. I don't use gear. I never will use gear. I'm against gear usage. I'm going to be a lifetime natural. I always will be a lifetime natural. I'm not a... I'm, gear is, goes against every value I believe in. Um, if you want longevity, don't use gear. I don't just want to look good in my 20s. I could jump on gear and, look, and, and, build, and add another 30 pounds of muscle to my frame in my, in my 20s and 30s. But then that's going to have consequences later in, my, in life, in my 40s and 50s. My advice to anyone would be, never do gear. The side effects are too, too drastic. You, you can't avoid the side effects. People say, oh, well, if you do gear the right way, you can... No, you can't. You can't avoid the side effects. Don't do gear. Stay away from it. Be a lifetime natural. You can build a great physique naturally. And for me, the natural look is the best look. I don't like the geared up look. It's not for me. I'm a lifetime natural and always will be. Thanks for the question, brother. From Christopher Harrison, QP2IX. What size are your arms? Not pumped right now, so they're not their biggest. Pumped to their max? Maybe 19, 20 inches, pumped. I've got little T-Rex arms. When you've got little short arms like me, it's not hard to make your arms look big. A lot of taller guys have problems with their arms because they've got such long arms that it's really hard to fill out your arms. I've got tiny little Raheem Sterling T-Rex arms and they're not hard to fill out. Um, so like when you've got really short arms, you, you, you can get them really big. Um, arms have always been one of my strong points. I reckon, yeah, 19, 20 inches. I've never measured them. I, I definitely should measure them. I'll get, I, I don't think I have a tape measure in my house. So I'll definitely get a tape measure, and in one of my videos, I'll measure them and let you guys know how big they are. But yeah, I'd say, if I can have 20-inch arms, maintain 20-inch arms, I'd be happy with that. I think every, every guy has the goal of 20 inches. The big 20 mark is when you can really say you've got big arms. But I've never measured them, so I don't know, brother. But thanks for the question. Okay, last comment is from Gisepek3257. I butchered the name there, I apologize. Again, the same question as, as I got before. Are you going to do a full day of eating? You guys are requesting it. I'm definitely going to do it. I'm getting a lot of questions about my diet, my nutrition. I always show my training, but I need to do more information on my, on my diet and nutrition. So 
definitely one of my rest day videos I am going to do um, a full day of eating. Thanks for the question, brother. All right, guys, four comments today. If you've got any comments for me, please put them in the comment section of this video. I will answer them on my next rest day on Sunday. Any questions you have, please let me know. Nick Hujazi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel, the Natty King, the last true Natty Crusader. Guys, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Join the Mendez Cartel. And as always, people, long live King Charles III. And God bless Sir Winston Churchill.